And of course, we are back. Good to see you again, Scratch Ticket fans. Here's the first starting of it right there, the Duck Bills. And now, like I said, Skull Island. I finally get to play this game. Oh, I have been looking for an opportunity to go get it before it cashes out, claims out, and I did not want to miss it. So, I know it may seem like a personal vendetta to you guys. Probably hate the living hell out of it, but, I mean, three ticket, $3 tickets and stuff. This is a grid-based game. I mean, it's much like, you know, bingo and whatever like that, but it's a lovely way to play it because, I mean, look what you get. Here's how it works. Get a full picture of a pistol, you get $3. You get a full picture of the swords, you get $5. You get the most pistol and sword, I guess you get $8. Bucks. Um, I have to see how the odds on this ticket are played. Uh, it goes up, you know, 5 and 3. It says you can get 5 and 3. And there it is right there. I mean, the odds on the game aren't bad. 5 and 3 is uh, 3.76. That's what it is right there, but you get three, five, ten, stuff like that. So I don't know if you can get double prizes or anything like that, but we shall soon find out. Hmm. Coordinates, we didn't capture up to that. Ticket number 91, so it's actually a pretty fresh pack, and I've got ten of them. So we currently are now standing at a whopping $80 worth of lottery for 50 bucks, and, and let's hopefully get more. I mean, how far do we go? Difficult to say on climbing ladder. It's basically dependent on each individual person and their preferences. I mean, or until your money runs out. I mean, come on. <laughs> that is part of the equation, <laughs> how much money you have. So here we go. Ticket number 91. We are going to play some bingo, but with a skull. Ah, <laughs> Treasure Island. Mm, sounds like it can be a lot of fun. Or just arduous. <laughs> long it's up to you but i have been wanting to play this game for a while so we've got b4 so we go right in there scratch that thing right there empty spot got a b7 it's gonna be some fun or it could be absolutely nothing f7 ah we found a part of a coin probably four of those for 20 bucks that would be pretty cool. An A7. Alright, G6. A ship, probably. Oh yeah, that would be pretty cool. A D6. These are one of those games that you can actually mess up pretty badly, especially if you don't know where you are, <laughs> what you're doing. All right, swords, I guess, are just uh, two, sp two slots. Wow, okay, that was smaller than I thought. So I got three, six spots. I have six available, so there we are. I see an H there. That might be a three. B2, D5. The anchor is showing itself. A2 and G1. Ooh, that rich diamond. That's like 30 bucks. C4 and C1. Yeah, let's blow this thing out of the water. C4 and C1. Does the biggest object equal more money? I would like it to. H4, F6. That helps. Hmm. That's that treasure box. Pirate's life for me. Might only come out with a bottle of rum after this. A5 and D2. Might need it. Hmm. F3. 
three and e six. That's pistol for three. I imagine that's what it is. Do we need that bottom one down there? Yeah, I think we might need that. So like B5 in order to get that. She's kind of off there. I don't know. It might be. It requires three pieces. Yeah, it's across the line. C3 and E6. That's a different, that's a difficult one. That's a difficult call. And E6. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. She does have that out there. It's hanging out there. There's a, You need a B5, I think, to call it. D3 and F4. Okay, now there's two different ones here. Okay, there's two... What is that right there? That's a cannon, I think. Okay, that's why it's that's why it's wrong. This is actually the pistol right there. And that only takes two squares. I was right. There's a three. That's a three dollar winner. Boy, there can be actually some confusion on here. It's still fun to play. H6 and G5. H6 and G5. Oh, you can get yourself into big trouble on this one. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll think you're winning and you're not. Then you just got to go and find those little letters. There's your three. I'm pretty sure it's a three. I got the pistol right there. So that's a three. Um, might be best if I go and try to see if it is. Finding those letters. Maybe not. I mean, we can always scan it. And there it is. I mean... I'm going to call it that. TH and R, I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, we'll call it three. Got that pistol uncovered. So I'm going to do that. And I will scan it and make sure to tell you. So on our first ticket, we actually get three. Continue the climb. Hmm. That should be interesting. 90. So the first ticket I do is actually a winner. All right. Let's start finding it. I'm going to scratch these all for you guys so you guys can, like, you know, play along as you want. And we'll also probably cheat and find those cheating letters and stuff so that we can find out that, you know, it's not there, that we'd get a loser. And then we'll be all good and go good to go on that. So you guys can, you know, if you need to, to fast forward because this video will be pretty long when I do this. A5, A4, let's see, A5, A4, A6, A6, okay, H, 2 and 4, 2, 3, 4, uh-huh, any more H's? H6. H6. Yeah, that could actually be D61. I can see how that can be a difficult thing. And lining it up on the camera is actually kind of difficult. Got to be right on. D5, D4. Nice, we are getting this map. X marks the spot, and that ends the Ds, but that's not what we need, we actually need C, so. Okay, C1, C2. Finding that cannon. All right. C4 and C6. C4. C6. Ah, oh, that one spot ended us on our map for a thousand bucks. Of course that would happen. G2, G5.
G2, D5. G6. G4. G6. G4. Miss the treasure box for 30,000 bucks by one. That would have been scary. How about the bees? Might get the cannon. Let's see, B5. I only see one. One B? Hmm. A B5. Okay. Possible coin. Oh, yeah, this can take a while. Gotta hurry up. But we may not be able to. We got all the H's. Got the C's. Got the D's. How about the F's? All right. Let's see. F2, F6. F2. F6. No, that's not going to help anything. All right. And then E. E7, E3. That was firing in the wind. And that would actually put everything out right there. Everything's all not, a, it's untouched. So all we have to do is just go right down to the list here and say how many A's we got and see how many we uncover and then just check to see. So I, that can get a little bit speedy. So I'd say that's a loser. No pistol, no G3, nothing like that. So we get a loser on that one. One for one. All right. And to that, I say, R. <laughs> All right. Let's continue our little treasure hunt for Blackbeard's gold. Or his rum stash. Some of us, rum is worth more than the gold itself. <laughs> But with the gold, you can buy all that stuff. Nah, actually not. Think about it. What if they have, like, somebody contests your right to have the gold? Now you don't even get the rum or the gold. That has happened before. Hmm. You find the treasure and you say, hey, it's salvager's rights. But no, it's actually a claim. They'll give you a portion of it. Thank you for finding our gold. And, like, put a claim out for it and you lose it all. Bummer. We'll start with H because H is at the top here. So H3, H5. And then we can keep going for H1. Not helping. The coin is over there though. And then we'll go E, E4 and 5. Yes, please. Give me the diamond. Diamond for 30 bucks. Any more E's? E2. I see an E2. Et 2, Brutus. <laughs> I had to say that. That's what it sounds like. E2. All right. How about a C? C4 and 5. C4 and C5. And then we have a C2. C6. C6. Oh, are we going to get that treasure box? It's a huge gamble. That's like 30,000 bucks. All right. G. I am scanning that all there. I see a G1. That's it. Well, I guess it gives us part of the coin. That's a safe spot. I see one G. And then we've got B. B4, B6. Four and six. Yep. Hmm. I need a B5, and I just missed it. B4, B6, B1, and B2. B1 and 2.
Yep. B1, B2, B3. Okay. We're going to get all the Bs. Can open up all of that. And then as far as we go is B7, which is actually not necessary. I mean, it gives you a partial anchor, I guess. That might actually save us. But I did not get the B5, which is actually a treasure box for 30000 bucks. They're going to do that all the time. All day long, I'm pretty sure of it. Got all the H's. Now we are at the A. Okay, so A3, A7. Okay, no A2, and that pretty much sank that idea. Got all the E's. How about the D's? Okay. I don't think I don't see anything in the D. Yep, I need a C for the pistol. I need C1. I don't have one. So E is done. D. D4 is the only one I see on that one. Skip the diamond. Okay, D1 is also on there. That didn't help us. B, H, A. Looks like we're done. Uh, F is what we're still st stuck with. Uh, F7, F4. Oh, yeah, this can take some time. And that's about it. Yep, just go right down the letters, and you'll find them. And that's how you play it. Mm, losing it. Okie doke. We always have those letters, too. I can always scan these. This is this is one of those tickets that I'm going to have to scan. And with odds of 1 in 3, 7, 6, it's 1 in 4. So I could have four losers and only have about, like, two winners. <laughs> that's about it. Hopefully we get something pretty big. Otherwise, we're pretty much sunk. Might only get to the $5 ticket here. Ah, uh, what did I do? Probably made a bad decision just because I felt like I wanted to play this game. Then again, the last time we played a $3 ticket, they uh, popped off. Never know. We will never know. Until we do. So. We will continue on. Begin with A. We got A1, A3. A1 and A3. All right. That sank that right there. B, we have B5 and B6. B4, B3. B1, B2. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> okay, how about the C? C6, C1. C4, C2. C5 is missing, conveniently. Of course that is. How about D? D1, D6. D6, and that was it. How about E? E2, E1, 2, and 4. And 2 and 4. E6. How about F? Let's 
let's see, ding, 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 F2, that's all I see. No F1. G? Probably don't have anything. I got four and five. Yep, that one's pretty much gone. The swords might still be here. And that could be in the H section. So let's see, H2, we got H, we got two, six, and five. Five and six. And I don't have G6. I have G5, and that's it. All right. That's a loser right there. Ooh, that's pretty sharp. Okay, here's the fourth ticket. One in four, so possibly a winner? I would like to say so. Those are pack odds, so that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I may only get one winner for three bucks. At which point I did actually end it. I mean, that's just the way it is. Don't even have another $5 ticket that I can get. Can't even climb the ladder. I guess that's just uh, how it ends. <laughs> that can be how it ends. How about the A's? A4, A6. A7, A5. Okay, B. I need five, six, and seven. B five, six. Yeah, of course not. So we got B five and six. Yep. Yeah, B five and six. Of course, they won't give us those. That's thirty thousand dollars, and they're just not, not going to get that that easily. So B five, six, and two. No B1. Nope. That was the pistol. Still can get the swords. That's a good possibility. I always look at the threes and the fives for that. Let's see. C3, C7. C2. Okay, how about D? D4, D3? D2, D6. D6. E? E3, E5. Easy to lose this stuff. Let's see. F3, F6. I don't see any more Fs. G. G3 and 4. G3 and 4. G5. No more there. H. Make sure I can see all of that. Letters and numbers, they kind of get screwy. I see an H4, and that's it. Uh-oh. I'm going to go worse than the odds. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I said I want to... 
one in four. I'm going to go one in five, probably. Okay, Oak. That is a loser again. You number E6. All right, time to beat those odds. I'm going to have to beat them with a stick. Because it's getting ugly. Yes, it is. And it's getting longer than the first episode. Got to find all these coordinates. THN doesn't spend, spell anything. Let's see. A. I see one. A5. That won't fix anything. B. B1 and B7. One, seven. C, two and five, three, four, five, C, six, okay, D. Let's see, we got one and two. Four and seven. E. E one and four. F, seven and five. Four and six. G, five and three. Four, four and six. I do not have a G7. That's too bad. How about some H's? Six and two. And a loser. There we go again. So we're going to have some trouble. Choices, folks. Choices. Oh, I wanted to play it so bad only to dig myself into a grave. Just like it is. So what do we learn from this? Don't go looking for pirate treasure. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's probably what we learned from doing this. Don't go looking for buried treasure. Probably won't find any. Okay, A. A, three, six, and five. Three. Six and five. Okay. B. Two, three, and five. I 
and six. C, two, three, seven. Four, six, and five. D, two, three, and one. One, two, and three. And then, of course, we're going to skip one and go to five. So we missed the four. So five. How about E? Three, six, seven. F. Two and six. G. G4. Hmm. H. H7. That was a throwaway. Well. They better be building up for something big. Hopefully I had got enough deep to get it. Because otherwise I'm getting loser after loser. I'm only winning three bucks out of ten tickets. Number 84. Got three more tickets left. This one plus two more. Crazy. Okay. Yep, this is not looking like a fair, like a fair session today. Yep, I pulled the wrong ones. A. One, seven, and five. One, five, and seven. B. Three, two, three, and six. Two, three, four, and six. And six. That is a $3 winner right there. Well, they didn't save up for anything big, that's for sure. So... Two, three, two, three, four, and six. Yep, that's a three dollar winner. I don't think you can get any more. <laughs> the next thing you have to have is something else, and I think that's about it. I'll skip ahead here and see what it is. THR. There it is. THR three. Well, we didn't build up for much of anything. I guess we get six bucks back. Probably one ticket. Hmm. Unless we have back-to-back -back winners. I usually think about having three winners with, with ten uh, tickets. It's usually what they come out to be. But with the odds the way they are, they can be a little bit 
stingy. I'll do that just to spare you guys the monotony. Sometimes that happens. If you're not getting any big wins, you just don't have any fun. I know how that is. People want to see these tickets pop off. Like a $200 winner. So I'll spare you this one too. Let's see if those letters have it. I got an M Sting of Doom. I have to still check it to see if it's higher than there's a G. Got to get it higher than 25. So if it's higher than 25, you got to look for the diamond and wherever that is. So let's try that until we see it. Three, six. I'm looking for the A's. Three and six. So basically find the diamond and see if it's in there. See if we uncover it. B. Let's see. One, two, seven. That diamond is 30 bucks. That's what we have to look for. The coin is 20 and that's TWN. That's not there. So I know that one's not in there. See, let's see. One, five, seven, one, four, five, seven, one, four, five, six, seven, one, Four, five, six, and seven. Cannon's a hundred bucks. You can actually that can actually blow it up. I have to look at the D's to see if I get any of that. C D. One, two, three, four. D, one, two, three, four, no, I have D6. Yep, it missed it. Okay, the other thing I'm looking for is that diamond, so that's the last one that I look for. E. Unless, of course, you get the map, and that's not going to probably happen. So we got one, three, five. One, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. Three, four, five. There's my diamond. All right, let's check the Fs. And that's all it takes. F. Basically, I need four and five. Nope, they skipped it by one. So I got F7 and F5. F7 and 5. That pretty much does that in. No F4. Okay. What would be the last thing? It's the map. And I think that's on the G and H. That's the only one that's like asking for a thousand bucks. Hmm. F had it. So it's not even up there either. I only see one G1. H? Four and six? That's not even together, so it probably won't even uncover anything. Yep. Swords could have done it for five, but that's FIV. So I know that one was going to be a loser. It's hard to say. 
I can try to cheat. Last ticket. And we're going to come away with only six bucks. I had a feeling I had this one, this climb the ladder would probably pretty much end. Sometimes you just get that bad feeling. Start out good and then it just dries up. And that's what we had happen here. Sea sting of death. That's what that is, a sea sting. Okay. I have had a C bring in some, like, 50 bucks, so, you know, we're going to check it. I can hear, no, don't, just get away from it. Never play this game again. I probably won't. There's the ship, so that was the, you know what, 50 bucks. see i see nothing i hear nothing let's see what we got here two and six that's what i see geez huh One, four, and seven. E. One, two, five, and six. G. H. And that means I'm either as blind as a bat, and I am definitely going to scan these and have to append. Now I understand why Angry Auto Scratcher had a hard time doing this one. He skipped a couple of things on one of them. So, I mean, it's pretty easy. I mean, this is easy to skip. So, it's actually a pretty difficult game. Uh, I got D4. I didn't get D3. So, that's not that doesn't exist. I don't even get $3 on that one. C, F, and H, and that's a dead zone. So, 2 out of 10. Had that happen. And it ain't pretty. Six dollars. Now, I'm going to call it right there. 86. We got about uh, $80 for 44. That's what I'm going to do it right there. So, we will have a two part one on this one. I made a bad decision and it ended us right there. That is what happens with Climb the Ladder. I'm not even going to get the five because I'm not even going to risk it. Uh, it's called disappointment. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes happens. Last time we had a 30, this time the threes just dunked us in the water. So, I'm going to end it right here. 44 minutes plus the 28 on the other one. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you like and what you don't. And hey, we do this kind of stuff all the time. And sometimes I still got more lottery than what I paid for. $80 for the uh, 44. Because why? I'm taking profit. I'm going to be holding some more of that. So, 
that's the results right there. So you guys take care and uh, get ready for the big one. Angry Auto Scratcher should be back with a whole bunch of the holiday tickets that we're going to do. And we hit our cap. Yeah, that's like $250 in holiday tickets. Be there and we'll see you right here. Thank you again. Bye-bye.